My name's Drew of Andrews. Welcome back to my Valheim Let's Play. This is the same recording session as last episode because there was too much content to put into one episode to have it have a good time. So please enjoy the rest of this episode. There is a house over here, and I think I want to get to this house and see what's inside. Maybe there's more more honey producers in here. Nope, but there is a chest, and the chest has a torch. Torches are useless. I hate torches. They're I hate them. The u most useless thing in the game. They were not useful in the slightest. You know, I could just go off over here and get lost. I kind of feel like doing that. Oh, there's a mountain over there. That means I could use that as like a, a location, um, like a, a landmark location, so I wouldn't get lost-ish. Okay, I'm gonna start a new path up over this way because I feel like it. I could just go back to my base and get an antler and start mining some copper, get the trolls in on it too. But I feel like more path equals more good. So I'm doing more path equals more good. The only issue with this is my food build is currently wrong to do this. I need a full stamina build to do this at peak efficiency. Man, I don't think I would have made it if I didn't have that rocks sitting in the way. If there wasn't any rocks, I would have lost that really hard. Oh, some berries. Now I can do a better build. Better, better stamina build. Man, this path is going to be awful going up this hill. It's just gonna be like super like bad and elevation is just all completely out of whack and I'm not gonna fix it either. I do not feel like fixing that path. I do not think it's worth my time or valuable to any sort of cause or causation or any of that jazz. It's not that I'm lazy. It's that I just don't care. So yesterday I was doing some power washing and uh, yes I was doing it in the freezing cold temperatures which uh, somebody told me is totally insane, but I'm okay with that. You know, you have walk, you do the walk. But I fell off a ladder yesterday because it was slippery, and it was a ladder I am very confident with, and I was very used to being on the ladder, going up and down it pretty fast, and I had a power washer in my right hand, and I went down it pretty fast, faster than I should. I was too confident. Uh, I think the word I'm looking for is cocky, because cocky and confidence are very similar, but one is just too much of the other. So I was too confident, and I went down the, the ladder really fast, and it was really slippery, because everything was wet. That's what she said! And I fell down it. I'm, I'm, I'm perfectly fine. I only got flesh wounds. Just a flesh wound. I still fell down the ladder, and I, I went from, like, young number four or five, and my left leg in a uh, forward bent position hit the the bottom of my leg hit the second rung and my other foot hit the ground so i was still facing standing up while i hit everything so i didn't like have any like any other issues i scraped my leg i bruised well i don't know if it's a bruise it's just a whole bunch of red marks but it, it's, that part wasn't bleeding i bruised and cut my I, I cut and bruised my leg and i also cut my hand a little bit tis but a scratch no, I really wonder where I am. Like, I just started going off in a random direction, started pathing. So I don't know exactly where I am. I'm kind of hoping if I continue going this direction, I can kind of find my other base. I think that would be fantastic. But I don't know what the chances of that are. No chance. I think if I want to do that, I would just have to go left. So if I get tired of pathing, I just go left and potentially find my base or get totally lost. These are the options. And it is starting to get a little bit dark. Being lost would not be good because like if I die, that means I don't know where to get all my stuff. That means all the stuff I just did to fight the boss was all for naught. You see, it's all, all a big issue. So getting lost would not be okay. I like to think that I know where I am, but that's just a lie. It is now officially nighttime, and I am still out here pathing. I just found a little fallen log, and now I'm gonna have enemies all up in my all up in my business. Okay, we found a little plain area, which might be might be good. It might not be. These green orbs are pretty weak, so it's not too bad to deal with them. As long as we don't get a brute up in our stuff, we'll be fine. Because a brute would be too much. You know, I got a good feeling about this direction over here. So I'm gonna go run over that direction and see if there's like potentially another road that I've put in. And if not, I'll just continue going the way I have been. Okay, it is all just woods over here. So it is not, I don't know why I felt like going this direction. I just thought it would be a good direction to go. 
See that? I just blocked his yacht, though. You can't, you can't touch this. I just defeated your boss. Well, I just found another yod, but I think it is in a circle. I think I, I went over and I did a Yui. I, I think that's exactly what I just did. So I think I'm just gonna go off in this direction. Because that's definitely not the yod that I've been looking for. These aren't the droids you're looking for. So I'm just gonna go off this way and hope that I find the correct road that I'm looking for. I can't believe I just did a Yui of the road, which is absolutely ridiculous. It'd be really funny if that actually wasn't a Yui. It's because then I just found the right road that I've been looking for this entire time, and I just denied that it was the right one. Oh man, it just started raining. That means I'm gonna be wet, which means I'm gonna have even slower stamina regeneration. I still don't even know where I am. What's past here? Is this just more forest? Yeah, it is more forest. I, just, I was kind of hoping that it would be like a open field where I could find my road. Okay, it is now day 11. We just spent the entire night going through and pathing. We just passed the entire night after fighting the boss. I haven't even put the boss on the boss uh, shine thing yet. Cause I decided pathing is path and my visibility is kind of low. I just found another beehive, which is fantastic. I don't have enough space for everything, which is really too bad. I'm gonna get rid of the wood because I have plenty of wood and it's really easy to get wood. Well, the stone is like very, very much so important. More stone equals more good because wood is easy to get while well, stone is kind of... I do have three times resources, but it's not as favorable to get as I would like. And it's very possible this is the spot that we've been looking for this entire time. It would be really great if we just happened to be come across the, the road that I'm hoping to be coming across. Dude, we totally did. This is the road. We just did... Yes, I've I've got a little bit of the luck from the very first episode that I had of this episode. I, I've made my way back to this road, which is great. This is really good. This is fantastic. Hopefully this isn't a different road than what I'm thinking it is. Wait, oh my god. So, this is a different spot than I thought it was. So I started on this path right here, and I just came from this path right here. I can the failure. I am accomplished. I can't believe I've done this. I literally went completely in a circle this entire time. Failure. I feel like this that was super pointless. I think the word I'm looking for is flabbergasted. I think I'm completely flabbergasted. I can't believe I just went. <sighs> this literally goes up and around just like that. It's ridiculous. It's not okay. I hate that. I thought I was doing some actually good exploring, but no. I just did a big fat Yui. Okay, I'm gonna hang the trophy onto you. Ooh, look at that. Got mystical, like, little wisp parasites coming out of it. Oh yeah, fantastic. Forsaken, sacrificed. I'm gonna activate your power too. And that is very useful if we are, say, running along the path for a, a decent amount of time and just need to have an extra extra stamina boost to get us through it. Okay, I'm gonna drop off my extra valuables here because I don't really think I should be carrying all of those. I don't really think it's useful to carry them. I will leave the deer trophies here because they're going to be more useful staying over here. And I'm gonna get plenty of resin so the resin can stay here as well. So I don't I don't need the resin. And just as like a safety precaution, I'm gonna leave some some food here. In fact, I'm gonna eat some food and just leave leave the rest of everything here just all of it all of it can stay here because like maybe i should put it in a different different container though because like if i ever end up you know having an emergency situation where i'm at this base and can't get back to the other base bam food here nice and simple and i won't be able to have to like have any major issues hopefully thinking ahead everything is about thinking ahead right just like what i just did right there now we can activate a new power and run all the way back to the base. I should probably grab some of the building resources out of here though. Grab some stone, grab some wood. There we go, we're all maxed up on all the stuff we can carry. And now we can go back to the main base. You know, I was really hoping that I would end up back at this path over here some, somewhere on this plate instead of 
the other one I was just in. Going all the way back around doing a Yui. I feel, I feel so ashamed and disappointed of myself for doing that. It really shows you how easily you can lose track of your sense of where you're at without like any good visual reminders of where exactly you're at. You know, I do want to repair this place right here, so I think I'm gonna like get started on that right now. I'm not gonna put any campfires or anything inside of it, besides the crafting bench, of course. So like you can put that right there. Oh, it's starting to clear up finally. A few moments later. Okay, I've made this this spot right here look at least halfway decent, so we don't have to look at an eye store every single time we pass by this on the road, which is way better than what it, it was. Because I don't like looking at ugly trash. Here, I'm going to change out the door though, because I hate this high on the door. Alright, these gate doors, they're, they're the proper doors. If you use the other doors, you do, you're do playing Valheim all wrong. Even if you have like 10,000 hours in this game, if you only use these wood doors, the small ones, no! Wrong. Absolutely wrong. You're playing Valheim wrong and you should have dishonor on yourself. Well, we have now made it back to the base and now I can make an antler pickaxe. This is fantastic. I love having these. What does it take to upgrade it? Can I upgrade those? Am I not able to upgrade the antler pickaxes? No, I don't think I can because it doesn't have a little number right there. So instead, I'm just going to make three of these. Because the more pickaxes you have, the less chips you have to take, which is the best. The forest is moving. What do you mean the forest is moving? This is another combat encounter again? Not another one? Another one? Let me grab some food items. I'm totally gonna get my ass handed to me in this. I haven't fought any of the specialized dudes yet. Okay, here's a shaman. Blew your torch. I'm poisoned. That did not how I wanted it to go. But the shaman is very important to take out first. There's so... I haven't reset my spawn point. Hold on. Hold on. Pause. I gotta, I gotta go, go hit my bed over here, cause like it would be really bad if I had to run all the way back over here. It would be a huge waste of time, and they would absolutely mauling my, my little gates right here. I just got poisoned again. Hold on, let some of you guys in, and oh no, this is not good. Oh, I'm dead. It's a good thing I just they're all in my base now. They're all gonna destroy everything and. Oh gosh, that's not good. But I, I got the bed spot back, which is the most important thing, because I don't have to run all the way back, because that would be like an extra three minutes that I'd have to sit around and look at for editing. Everything's being destroyed. Oh gosh, this is awful. This is absolutely terrible. The, our, our border has been invaded. Gotta put everything back, and I am like, soup, I'm, I'm dead. I'm dead again. The forest is raping me. One pair of pants later. Okay, I should not stay in here. Oh, I'm immediately dead again. Oh, uh, no. My death counter is going to be on so high now. The forest rests again. Now leave. Please evacuate my the premises. Okay, now he's not trying to spawn kill me. They are taking away my my bees. But the bees are actually just killed. They just killed a grayling, which is fantastic. Okay, I'm going to grab this. And I'm gonna run out of my base because it is safer out here and block this guy. Oh gosh, that did not go as planned. I gotta put on some of my my wep my wares. I gotta eat too. Eating is very important. Okay, we got all our stuff back. We got my armor put on. We can actually deal with these guys properly. Okay, where is that brute? He's probably destroyed more of my stuff. He's trying to get out. He's like, you've locked me in prison. Yeah, just destroy my beehives more. Oh, the blocked walk. I didn't think that block would walk. You have a weaker attack than skeletons? That is actually surprising, and I'm carrying too much. Oh no, I'm dead again. I, I can't move. Drop the stone. Oh, that was close. Okay, let my stamina regen. Shield him. Ah, uh, The gods are merciful, though. The gods are merciful. I've died. I'm dead, but the gods are merciful. Okay, he is still there. He's... Being a view dude, destroying all my stuff, I gotta evacuate the base again. Cause there's no way to deal with him without doing that. Now I'm cold, it is now nighttime, and I picked up stuff and I hate that. I hate when I pick up stuff and it moves the stuff in my inventory where it was before. It, it like completely, cause it's where I put my armor every time. Don't get hit. Okay, let's try and get them to come out of my base now. So that when I, <coughs> <coughs> if I have to respawn again. See, he deals 16 damage to me whenever I block. That's why that's why he was able to get get me out that 
death when I blocked him. But, okay, Crisis is now over. And I got the worst item in the game, Buke Berries. It's not the worst item. Torches are the worst item. My walls are actually pretty well, like, I mean, the doors aren't, but... The walls are actually have pretty good defenses, considering they just got wailed on. Okay, my beehives are probably not happy at all. They just got, like, the, the crap busted open. But they still have honey to give, so that they're all good. Now, I'm trying to think of where I want these guys. And, like, I could put them back over there, but that's not very flat ground. I could put them over there, but I'd probably remove that. That's probably the best option, honestly, because I don't want them over there, because I feel like that's too far away from this spot over here. Where do I want them? A little longer than a few minutes later. I have decided to put them both right here, and this one is floating. Wow. Don't ask how or why. It is. Deal with it. I also put chests over here, as you should always do. If you're not putting chests next to your kilns and your smelters, you're playing Valheim wrong. Well, that's all I have time for today. If you liked the video, please like and comment down below. And don't don't forget to comment what you think about the multiplication on the resources. Be fantastic if you gave me a sub sandwich. And I'll see you guys later. Goodbye.